Our panic in the community was that the public hall was being put up for sale. So if they didn't get the sale price, because it's Grade 2 listed, it could be just left derelict. In the same way as the John Marlins mansion, it was so beautiful and then that burned down. So we know what it feels like to have an incredible building left. And, and lost. So we formed Friends of Stratford Public Hall in my front room in 2013 with no experience whatsoever. And then we had our first public meeting in January 2014. Got married in 1964. We had our reception here. This group got together and I stood up and told them about my connections with it. So it was a huge thing for this couple, but they were very much like, you don't know what you're doing. What, it, what, you, what do you think you're doing? And I turned to Sid and I said, get involved. This is for everyone to get stuck in. It's not just us. Since then, he's been involved almost every day. Hundreds of people got involved. We literally had over 500 people volunteer within our first year, just writing the bids, getting the project together. I thought it was a worthwhile thing to do, yeah, because it's very little in Stratford. Most of the pubs have shut down. Um, there was almost no restaurants. The shopping centre was half empty. People were just going out of the area, which meant that there wasn't really a central point for the community to come together and get to spend time together. Really in a selfish way, it was like, if I can do this, if we can pull this off, my kids will have kind of a legacy that they can kind of take on and that pride in the community that they live in. And people said there's no way that the council will give it to us, they'd never give anything to Stretford. And when the campaign was won, the sense of pride in us as a community was sensational. Like after how many years now, five and a half years, we're doing it, it's, it, it, it happened. Um, we would not be here today if we didn't have that kind of groundbreaking funding from the co-op. The hall is open to the community for them to use pretty much every day of the year. At the moment, I think we probably have, say, five, six thousand people a year using the space through activities and events. From sort of 12 year olds right up to 90 year olds. It's a variety of things that we do. So arts, culture, well-being. Yoga in the morning, followed by mindfulness. And then we have a really excellent dance and groove class. In the afternoon, we have chair aerobics, Pilates, embroidery and life drawing, as well as our choir, which, you know, some people don't view as well-being, but it most certainly is because, you know, you're going at the end of a long day and coming out feeling on top of the world. We have staff now, which is incredible. So if we want to do a cinema event or we want to put on an exhibition or we want to put on a new club or a new workshop, everything is doable. We do have a problem with crime and for some of that reason is because of a lack of opportunity and activities for younger people. One of our next stages is that we want to look at developing the basement of the building. It would be a perfect space to set up a youth centre. I've got students who started with us and are now coming in to help and volunteer. So they're getting the skills to kind of progress in themselves and, and their confidence is growing all the time. The numbers will increase over time as we carry out the renovation work to sort of 30, 40,000 a year we hope. We're looking to restore the ballroom and we'll be able to hold bigger capacity events. So we know that 15,000 cars a day drive past the hall and it's making sure that you know everybody knows that it's a community organisation in here um, that saved the hall and is now running it. We're trying to be very careful with our pricing and we're always focused on commercial income but making sure that everything we do for the community is still affordable as well. We don't really have a proper town centre and all around us now, little shops and pubs and restaurants are popping up and we really believe without us that wouldn't have happened.